Brendan Ho'are, who is a disciplined practitioner in sustainable organic productions, has just recently arrived in Rarotonga to run a program on increasing the awareness of what organics is, identifying trainings that add value to organic products, along with assisting in nutrient recycling through composting and other means. So far, Huare has had the chance to meet with vanilla growers, noni growers, people adding value through body care products, along with a range of other enterprises. I feel you've got most of the ingredients together. It's not like it's, uh, there's, you know, I get a sense that there's a lot of opportunity, mm. um, but it needs to be coordinated, there needs to be a good strategy. So there's good vision, constant values, um, but we need good strategies and correct resourcing. From the time Huare has spent here, he strongly believes the Cook Islands has great potential to not only produce organically made products, but sell certified products into the valuable organic market. So what we're wanting to uh, do is, is, is just really, this is sort of verges into sort of a sales marketing piece. This is becomes wanting helping people move away from a production orientation and to understanding that you know you as a consumer have an expectation and this is where perhaps modern or, um, organics tries to restore tradition with modern science and things like certification which is another reason why I'm here is to help understand that domestic producer to producer there's a system but if you want to export or you want to add value to someone else's product then the market's very sophisticated and it's the fastest growing food sector in the world the Noni factory in Tsitsikavaka currently holds this certification and being certified organic producers. The certification is um, an organic certification that um, affirms to our clients or markets that we are uh, practicing in terms of the Noni industry um, in a sustainable, environmentally friendly manner and uh, also concerned with all the ecological issues, health issues also. And that's what the um, certification stands for. And therefore, um, with that principle that uh, carries uh, with the um, certification, then that gives uh, support by the market and opens up doors for further markets also. From valuable byproducts found within the Noni to improving composting practices, Huare hopes to build on traditional knowledge through some modern practices. This belongs, this is Noni, and it's been, um, the juice has been taken from it, and the juice will be exported. So someone will have the pleasure, if that's what you call it, <laughs> someone will have the pleasure of experiencing the juice, but this is a byproduct. And so part of what I'm here to do is to, this, is a, this can be recycled and turned into a compost uh, and I'll be helping them improve the compost making and help with the training of young people to become not good compost makers but excellent compost makers, managing natural resources and recycling. The push to move away from burning green waste is now on, with composting now the more greener and sustainable answer. Um, so we need to stop doing that and we need to start returning methods of returning this back into the soil to produce the food that nurtures us and makes us strong and healthy. So healthy soil, healthy food, healthy people. Currently, Rarotonga holds its own composting site behind Paparo School. The site has been in operation for three years, collecting green waste from the public and hotels as often as three times a day. The process of making compost is pretty simple for this kind of scale. Is, um, first we get rubbish from the hotels in public, then we put it in a windrow, as you've seen, and we let it sit over a period of six months, depending to a year, on how the conditions of the weather and everything. Uh, yeah, so it, that's what we do, and we turn it mm, twice, twice a month. Once the compost is produced and made into good quality, it is then sold back to the public.